a doorbell camera. It's made by a company called Kangaroo. So we'll be reviewing this product today. Now before I get started, I have to make a quick announcement. Um, today I uh, made it over 100 subscribers. This is a huge deal for me. Uh, I didn't think I would ever get to 100 subscribers. Um, starting out, I only had uh, seven people that initially subscribed. I think I have about six, six or eight family members that are subscribed. So all the rest are people that took the moment and took a just a second and subscribed to my channel, either because they like the content that I'm putting out or maybe I'm uh, weird and quirky so they can't they, uh, help but watch the train wreck. I don't know. All I know is I've made it over 100 subscribers. I need to get to 1,000. Uh, 100 is a huge milestone for me. Uh, I will be activating my Patreon. Uh, for It'll have different tiers. It's going to be some uh, different uh, things that are available uh, according to the different tiers. So um, if you're interested in that, jump on over to uh, my Patreon. Take a look at that. Um, and if you're not a subscriber and you like this kind of content, take a look at my channel. And if you like what I'm putting out, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, ask a question. I respond to all comments that uh, are looking for uh, information. I don't respond to the ones that say you're terrible because I get those people take the time to say you're terrible. But um, I'm excited about the 100 subscribers. And I'm going to do something special to commemorate that 100. I haven't, uh, I haven't decided what that's going to be, but here we are. And let's get on with the video. So when I originally started out on my channel, I had started doing a few reviews on some home automation things. I was uh, really excited about some inexpensive cameras that I have and that I've had for several years now. And I wanted to pass that along and I wanted to do a little bit of a review on some of the uh, Google products um, because I have them all throughout my house and uh, they all uh, work really well for me. But there's some bad products on the market and originally I was doing a few reviews and explaining how to use these Google devices. So as I accumulated more Google products, um, I moved away from doing the reviews. I was doing other things and I didn't really get back to it, but uh, I really do have confidence in the Google products. So I'm going to go over... Um, some of the products that I have and and urge you to give some of them a try. Some of these things are really inexpensive. They go anywhere from uh, $16 on up and can be very useful in your life. I don't know why more people don't use them, so I'm going to try to get the word out there. And I'm going to tell you the ones to steer away from. So uh, some of these products here I have, I've had for several years. As a matter of fact, all these products I have, some of them I've had for several years, and they have turned out to be just really good products and um, made my life uh, easier in a lot of ways. I'll have to explain that. But I'm going to go over how you set these things up, how easy they are to set up, if they're hard to set up, if they're uh, a good product, if they're out to uh, get more out of you than what the they're telling I'm going to give you all the rundown on that so with that let's get started with the first device we are reviewing the doorbell camera now the name of this doorbell camera is this is a doorbell camera and it is by a company called kangaroo now kangaroo has a whole line of home automation products and they're all in these very simple small boxes and they all say they have Google integration they this particular device says it's monitors and protects your front door 
from your phone. It says chime included. It says it has motion alerts, image capture, batteries included, no tools required. Now, this is an odd device. When I started setting, setting this product up, now I have, you saw all, earlier in the video, you saw all the products that I, that I have. I have literally set up hundreds of devices. Now this is a, a shot of my phone. And what I'm gonna do is show you my network. This is a live view of my phone. And I'm gonna pull up my network. You'll see that I right now have 57 devices active. I actually have 62 devices. Some of them are just not reporting right now, but <clears throat> I have 57 devices. I have literally set up hundreds of devices. Um, when I went to set this device up, I had problems. Um, it took 10 to 15 times trying to set this device up before it was actually installed. Now I've set up hundreds of devices. You see that I just showed you that right off the bat. I knew something was wrong. This device says it has Google integration, but Google never started their integration process. Normally when a device has Google inter integration, there's a point where Google picks up and finishes the install. And that's why things go really smoothly if they are Google integrated or Alexa. Now, when Google's integration didn't pick up, I knew there was some issue. I finally did get the device set up. So I switched over to try to find it on the list of Google devices so that I could use it. Google didn't recognize it and Google doesn't show having any software available that integrates with this device or any kangaroo devices. So right off the bat, I knew there was something going on here. Now on this screenshot, you can see this is the quality of the image that you're going to get. Now, if I go down here to activity, we can see what has gone on on this device. Well, uh, there's what we got yesterday. The motion is, I had motion detection um, set and it picked up the flag. Now the motion detection on this, ca on this camera would have required me to turn this off because the flag would have constantly been alerting me. But when I go back past 24 hours, you'll see everything's blocked out anyway. Well, why is that? Well, even though you paid for this device, you don't get to use all of the things that this device can do. Why? Because Kangaroo requires you to pay an additional fee in order to look further back than 24 hours. Okay. Well, another thing that doesn't look like a video. Well, it's not. It's three or four pictures that are stitched together. This, this device is not a video camera. Unlike other doorbells out there, video doorbells, this just takes pictures when the, when the doorbell is rang or it detects movement. Okay. So I wanted to find out why Google wouldn't integrate with this thing. What was going on with it? So here is my settings. Okay, I'm going to go in and I want to find out integrations. What's going on with integrations? Why can't I get this thing to work? Well, there it is, Google Assistant. Let's just click the Google Assistant. 
Well, no, you can't. In order to do that, you have to buy a new plan. In order to get Google integration, you have to pay $99 a year. Anything extra, here's Google picking up. They thought, Google thought I was talking to it on my phone. So, all of these things that are listed on this box require Google integration, uh, require an additional fee. Google or Alexa integration, you have to pay for. Text and voice call notifications, you have to pay for. 24 hour monitoring, you have to pay for. Of course, now I could see that. I could see if you wanted the monitoring, you should have to pay additional. Uh, cloud storage, you have to pay for. Um, person detection, uh, two way audio, you have to pay for. All this stuff you have to pay for. You have to upgrade in order to use the devices that you already paid for. Now, I don't know about you, but if I buy a product and it tells me it does something, and then I go to use that product and it says, well, I can do that for you, but in order for you to be able to use that feature, you're gonna have to pay extra. I, I, don't, I don't like that, that feels dirty to me. That feels, it feels to me like these people are not being genuine. I feel like they're trying to, they don't think the, pro, the the actual physical camera can stand on its own. So they want to charge more for extras. And these are not extras. You've already paid for this device. So here's what the screens look like. Every time you go to do something, you get all of this advertisement. Trying to get your money. Anything you try to do with this device, they're trying to get your money. So here's my home. There's, I'll have to block that out. That's my personal info, but um, you can arm, you can set certain times to arm the camera or the devices. Um, here's the different um, management things you can do with the device, but look. You have to buy. These are extra items and anything extra you have to pay for. I have a basic plan. It says I get one tap arming and disarming. Whoa. That just means you can turn it on or off. Add unlimited number of devices. Wow, really? Add unlimited number of users. Really? I own the product. I should be able to do anything I want to anyway. But no, even though you pay for this product, in order for you to use the features in this product, you have to pay them extra. Now, some things like, let's say even cloud uh, recording or uh, having somebody monitor the system. I understand. Pay extra for that. That's above and beyond what this physical device is. But I'm paying for this device and I can't use the device unless I pay you more. That is so wrong. Do not buy this device. There's something creepy about this device, the way they are going about selling this device. I don't even like them having my personal information. I feel like there's something they, they went about this the wrong way. I think that's all I'm going to say about this device. I showed you that every time you try to do something with the device, they want more money. Um, I'm not even gonna, I was going to go over some of the things. I'm not even going to do that because you can't use this device like this anyway. You have to pay more money in order to in order to use this device. I don't think the, this company is 
reputable. I don't think this, according to the box, they're not reputable because they don't say that you have to pay all these extras in order to use this device. Now, they'll probably come after me now for making this video and, well, it's not right the way this device was sold. I was very unhappy. I felt like I had been scammed, and I think other people will also. You can find much better products that don't charge extra. So, yes, this was a, uh, a low price compared to everything else that's in the case at Walmart. But it doesn't even do a fraction of what the other ones do without paying extra. In order to get this thing to do what Ring or Nest or some of those other ones do, they it ends up costing the same. And this device is not as good as one of those units. It just is not, even if you have all those functions enabled, it this is not as much of a quality device as those. My suggestion, my opinion, and my response to this company is don't buy this product. There's much better products out there for less money. And these people are not being genuine in the way they're selling this product. So that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to have a lot more coming up. I'm going to be reviewing some reputable companies, some of the other devices that you saw earlier in the video. And these things are going to do what you want them to do, and they're not going to lie to you on the box. So be sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I will be going over these other devices. I'll be putting out uh, a couple a week on these uh, product reviews. So if you want to be notified when these um, new videos become available, be sure to subscribe. Remember, they may do it another way, but that's the way I do it. We'll see you next time. I'm <laughs> sorry.